checking whether indicator is smart or not smart. Welcome to the Researcher Hub channel. For those who not family with this channel, this is a channel where you can learn project management, money, and uh, project design and research so on. So if you haven't subscribed for this channel, please go ahead to subscribe the channel to follow us. So now, let's look at the example, an example together by checking whether indicator is smart or not smart. Let's examine it together. So here's one example that I, I, I would like to share with you. So this is an, an one of projects impact they would like to see. They said that uh, provincial CSO networks capacity on organizational development improve. All the project would like to improve the provincial provincial uh, CSO network capacity on organizational development. This is an indicator was used for that project. Saying that provincial CSO network has organizational management tools include strategic plan, annual work plan, organizational chart, and operational policies. Before saying anything whether this indicator smart or not, let we examine it one by one together. First of all, let's look at the, the spe specific. So as we mentioned earlier, specific we need to see whom we would like to measure. So but if I look at this indicator statement over here, can you see whom we would like to measure? Okay, you might say that it, we would like to measure the provincial, provincial CSO network, right? Uh, uh, so whom we would like to measure is clear. Whom we would like to measure? Provincial CSO network. Number two. Look at what we would like to measure as well. Anything else beside a uh, 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 provincial CSO network? We also would like to see, would like to, to measure the organizational management tools over here. So done. What to be measured? We have that one. It's clear first from, that, from this statement. So it seems like this indicator is specific. So how many we would like to measure? Is it just one or, or too many? Uh, look at this, look at the statement. Provincial network would like, would, okay, provincial have that one. So it seems only tools here, only one thing, right? We measure management tools. So that's okay. So this is just like a, a, a thing uh, 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 something that uh, give extra information, but the, the the key things here is organizational management tools. So that's one, only one thing that they would like to to see. That's good, right? It sounds good. Oh wait, someone may have a question here. What was the question? Ah, oh, who developed the tour? Thanks, sir. This is a very good question. From that indicator. From that indicator, is it clear who who developed the tour? Have a look together. Well, provincial CSO network have organizational management tools. So just said that provincial CSO network have organi organizational management tools. It doesn't tell us exactly or clearly who developed the tour, right? So it's not clear. Is it the tool being developed by provincial network or provincial network can hire con consultant to develop this? So it's not clear. This one is not clear. Thanks sir, for your question. So this indicator is not really specific yet. So uh, in conclusion, 
some of you might say that this indicator is already specific because it already demonstrates whom, whom we want to measure, what we would like to measure. But another might say that it's not specific because it doesn't tell exactly who developed the tools. Now move to another one, measurable, right? Look at together, like, can be measured. So when we, when we discuss about measurable, something that we discussed earlier, the question is about can, be, can it be count? Look at the province here, the, the information or the data that we would like to count is provincial CSO network. In my countries, there are only 25 provinces which is 25 provincial CSO networks. So within this number, it's not hard to count. All those, the project is national, national wide, but look at collecting information from 25 provincial CSO network, that's not a big deal. So it's something that can be measured. So it's countable. Another one is about organizational management tools. So this one also can be defined, like that indicator already defined what is organizational management tools, right? Although that this statement is like tool is very abstract, but it can be defined. We can, we can uh, develop an uh, indicator definition later on so just said this indicator of this this phrase is definable that's fine so in conclusion regarding to the measurable for this indicator we said that that's all right that's okay it's clear it's good so move to number three affordable so affordable we, look, we just discussed earlier is about the data. Look at the data that we would like to collect. Again, I just mentioned earlier, here is about the provincial CSO networks in, in, in a country. So in, in my case, there's only 25 provinces. And here, Organizational management tools is already defined over here. There's four, 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 four tools: strategic plan, annual work plan, organizational chart, and operational and operational policies. So there are two sort. There are two type of data that uh, this indicator would like to collect. So make sure that. Uh, we will discuss we will discuss that whether is it affordable for the organization to collect these two data. So let's look together. When we look at the data, is it affordable or not affordable? Like we discussed earlier, it is about the the budget that organization have. So since I as I mentioned earlier, there's there's only twenty five provinces and then uh, the tool that we would like to collect is not many tools. There are not many tools. Therefore, for the budget, it's fine for the organization. Most of organization can, can afford to do it. And this kind of thing is not really too complicated, right? Just tool management tool thing. There's, you don't need a specialist just to count the tool. So for the human resource, for the, for the expert, you don't need really an, an expert just an ordinary people, a person, a normal staff can count it. So that's all, that's, that's all right for this indicator. So in terms of affordability, affordability or affordable for this indicator, that, that is not a problem. Next one, we discuss the, the relevant. So look at the relevant, we need to, again, we need to reflect to the, the, the internet chain we would like to see. 
So this the in intended change we would like to say is the provincial CSO network capacity on organizational development improve. So this is our indicator. By here we said that their capacity will be improved if the organization have organizational management tool. So once I said that it's possible if the tool was developed by the network. This assumption at the at the beginning of the project, the, the, the CSO network, provincial CSO network doesn't have all this sort of tool because they don't have organizational management capacity. After the project's intervention, building their capacity, they might be able to develop their own tools. So therefore, this is this is a good indicator if the, the tools was developed by the network itself. However, if by the end of the if by the end of the project, the organization just or, or the provincial CSO network networks just hire an external consultant, a group of external consultants to develop the tools for them. So it's it's not a good indicator to measure it. We need to do something to adjust it. Last part is about the time bound. So look at the time bound together. Look at the, the statement, indicator statement that we have here. Do you see any time frame? Not at all, right? There's no time limited here. There's no time bound for this indicator. We don't know exactly by when provincial CSO network would have the organizational management tools. Do we want to see this happen by the first year of the project intervention or by the end of the project intervention? Some projects might would like to see the, because it is the impact, some project might set it as like after three years of the project interventions. So without time bound, this indicator is not smart. Although regardless, everything is fine. But just without time bound, it is not smart. So in summary, look at this. The indicator with the specific. This indicator is not specific yet. They need to they need to make something adjusted. Measurable, yes, it is measurable. Affordable, yes, it is affordable as discussed. Relevant, not really because of the statement is not clear or is not specific. Time bound, absolutely. There is no time bound here. So how do we fix this? It is a money specialist test to fix this, to examine the, the indicator, whether it's smart or not, then a last task is to fix it. We have to adjust the indicator. Uh, Fixing the indicator, if you know already the, the thing that went wrong, just make it right. So any part of the statement which is not clear, just make it clear. If there's no term bound, just add the term bound. If not clear whom to be measure, just add it whom to be measure. So from that, I. We have a new indicator here. Provincial CSO network was a ball. So by adding was a ball, meaning that provincial network developed the organizational management tool itself, right? So then it have increased from X to Y by to end up project. So a term line or a term bound over here. We have a term bound here. We make it specific. It was developed by provincial CSO network. For other part of the in this indicator statement, such as like percentage, uh, 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 increase from X to Y, that is an, we will cover in, in the following, following part of this learning video, which is in part two. We will discuss more detail how to frame a complete statement of indicator based on the indicator type, indicator level, along with 
smart criteria that we just discussed over here.